Sean, come here a minute, will you? That's right. Look at hmm? over there. Could that be them? <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> That's a fellow called Dick Hayward. He's a fiddler from Edeskillen. He's coming down to play tonight's dance. <laughs> well, I see you there. Hmm? Hey, Don. Huh? I'll see you in uh, Devlin's after for an old John, maybe, huh? Uh, before, about 8 o'clock. Okay, see ya. Yes, sir? Perhaps you'd help me. I see you're a stranger in Dunkrana. Do you need a bike fixed or something? No, it's a country I'd be making whole again. Very long way. Hey, Mary, you going to we got a very Sit yourself right down and have a job. Easy on that, easy on that. Uh, I, I take my living oath from the look on Don McGuinness's face. He's a queer bit of news for us. Am I right, Don? You're right there, Seamus. The ordnance depot Derry was raided last night. They got away with over a hundred rifles and a couple of thousand rounds of ammunition. There's not much against the British Army. I wouldn't worry about that. There'll be a lot more. This time we'll drive the Englishman right into the sea. The IRA will rise all over the north again. The call will go out all over the whole face of Ireland. Any minute now. Do you think we have time for another quick one then, Don? I'm telling you, Dermot, any minute now. And when that day comes, will you join us? The O'Neills were kings of Ireland. They fought for 500 years. Never a generation didn't have its rebel. But for a moment, the rebel will have to wait whilst the poet goes forth. Tell her we were asking for it. <laughs> yeah. Dermot, what's the hurry? You've kept Neve waiting these seven years. She'll wait a little longer. Neve, darling. The change, please. <laughs> Two drinks, you said. Three you had. Ah, love. Oh, it's lovely. I'd love to take a ride. Well, put your arms around my waist then, because we're going to go. Sure, it's a ride you're taking. Never mind. Well, you're listening. My brother's right. Oh, you beast! You monster! Let me put me down this instant. Do you mind that her baby sister has half the lads in the village more than after? You should have seen the collection outside the door. I think maybe I ought to put a padlock on the hayrick these dark nights. Which one are you chasing now? A little Johnny, what's his name? He looks like a good night's carton would be the end of him. Hold your tongue, you evil-minded lout. And you'll give over teasing me too, you big shark. Christ, Christ, Christ. Calling. Germany calling. Here is the news in English. In another successful U-boat attack on British convoys in the North Atlantic yesterday, a number of ships were sunk, including the light cruiser HMS Godiva. During the night, the Luftwaffe again inflicted heavy damage on London with both high explosives. Boys, oh boys, but them Germans is lively fellas. How many cruisers is that now? That makes seven, da. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Ah, oh, the English can't build them that fast. Aye, and great news for the mothers of them that stays in the sea. Aye, they thought a lot about my mother, didn't they? Well, they shot me brother Vincent dead at the top of the lane. Ah, give over about Vincent. You'd think it was yourself that shot him. Was it my fault that them English gangsters were hunting me down? Is it my fault that they shot Vincent instead? No blame, da, no blame. Just let's have a little peace. Then. Vincent was a man. Do you hear me? A man. Uh, don't be too hard on him. Hard on him, is it now? Is it strange for the lad to be mourning the loss of the girl he loved? And I know another lad who's in a fair way to lose his own true love. You mind your flame and tongue. And himself, big love that he is, without the wit to seize her up and carry her off out of this wretched place. So it's a wretched place, is it now? And may I ask you one question? Where is this true paradise you're talking about? England, no doubt. Go uh, point. Mrs. Devlin. We have a couple of powers in the back booth. Ah, come up to the counter, Don. Sure, it'll make the place look fuller. Uh, no, me and my friend here would like to have a little bit of a quiet talk. Is 
Sit over there. It'll be a vantage point. I can open this door a bit, and you can point out any likelies to me. Oh, that's a great idea. I know every patriot in this town, every good Irishman that'll take up the cause with his gun or his life. There's Phil Carlyle, the teacher of the school. Oh, he knows his Irish history, and he knows how to talk about it with the sweet tongue for the old glories. And there's the McIntyre brothers. They're good boys, got a lot of fight in them. Yeah, it's fellas like those that we want. Irishmen first, last, and always. Men with muscles crying to be used, and guts enough to use them when the going gets tough. That's right, it's the man who believes. Oh, thanks, love. Do you mind putting it down on the slate? I just returned from an extensive training course in Germany. Ah, oh, those Nazis. They're the boys for military discipline. And they'll tell you this. In our case of selecting a leader, there's an added requirement. And it's this. A man must be a born strategist. Like yourself. Like myself? You don't think I'd have revealed myself to you unless I know all about you now, do you? Like myself? List out, please. That's Corrigan. He looks like a fighter. Corrigan! A minute! Sit down there, Johnny. Johnny Corrigan, this is Tim. Uh, I'm from Derry City. Oh, a bit of a do you had up there. Oh, those hotheads were at it again. Who would you be talking about? This IRA. With their wild ideas of one Ireland. What good would it do? What good Ireland? Who cares if the British flag flies in the north? The bread tastes the same, the women are as warm. I won't break his head down because he's your friend. I won't drink with him. Good man. Hey, there's a likely pair. That's the O'Neill brothers. The older one is Ned. He's a heavy drinker. Is he a fighting drunk? Oh, no, happy. Gentle as a lamb. I've never even seen him stirred up. No good. The other one? Dermot? He's a fighter. He is yeah. when he wants to be. But he'd rather joke a man out of his temper than take the trouble to raise his fists. You don't trust him? I do, I do. But a little while before you came, I asked him what he joined, and he said he would. Of course, he might have been only saying that, huh? No. We'll see what he's made of. Dermot. Dermot O'Neill. Will you come here a minute? Oh, I haven't the time, Dan. I'm off to pick up Neve, take her to the Gaelic League dance. She'll have my ears if I get close to a jar and a chat. We'll have to try another test. I suppose I'll have to do it. Bye now. That's very clumsy on your feet, you are. So the girls tell me when we dance. That's no apology. It wasn't meant to be. You should keep a civil tongue for your betters. I have someone far prettier than you waiting. I think we can try him again. We stroll after. <laughs> ah, come on now. See, I got a system. Look around the room, pick out the best looking woman, ask her out for a stroll. Usually she refuses. Can't imagine why, but uh, can I ask the second best looking woman out? So long, so long, so long. And eventually? <laughs> Here for a stroll, love. No, thanks. Well, why not, huh? I'm just recovering from the little stroll. Oh. Well? I, uh, decided to change my mind.
terrible thirsty work that dancing. I've got something better to offer a fine man like yourself. Work is it? Thanks, no done. I got other plans. Laughing, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing over in a jar, is it, Father? It is our poor way of fending off the harsh, bitter elements. Sean Riley, whilst it's known you're not a Catholic, I have great hopes for you nonetheless. However, it has come to my attention that you went to an English dance at Rathgiven and stood for God save the King. Uh, there would have been a riot with the Orangemen if you hadn't, Father. And since when is a good Irish man afraid of an orange man? Not me, Father. I wasn't there. You see, you never are. All foreign games, and that includes English dances, are forbidden. Would the raid on Derry the other night be called a foreign game, Father? You're not at all, boy. It is an old Irish game, and one that should be played more often. Lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> Come on, Jamie. Did you stand for the British anthem? Definitely I did. Not because I fear the orange men, it was the orange woman I picked up. Bigger than Anne Calmay. Can you imagine that? Bigger. Enough power to drive me straight through the floor. Definitely I stood up. <laughs> well, Dermot, it's happened. What's that done? The IRA have formed a company here. Oh, fine, Doc, fine. Hey, do you remember that fellow you knocked down in Devlin's? He's the organizer from Belfast. Yes, you know. Well, uh, tell him he better quit going about bumping into people. They'll never live to fight the English. Ah, sure, he just wanted to see if you had the stomach for a fight. Oh, he's got a stomach okay and a head as well, haven't you, Dad? Hmm? Are you with us? Why not? If all the young maidens was ducks in the water, if all the young maidens was ducks in the water, then all the young men would jump in and swim after. Fal-de-dal, 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 Yee-hoo! <laughs> well, then I have your promise, Dermot. Promise? The IRA, man. I know Neil's word is good as gold. It's the gun and the bullet and the bomb that we want. I can learn the way of all of them. Where do I sign? Ah, huh? There's no need to sign at all. Come to the shop Tuesday. All of you. What time, Dan? About half seven. <laughs> It'll rain after. I can smell it. Aye, and see the wind, too. And cork me way through a town full of widows. Neve. Not your soft voice, Dermot. And not your soft ways. What troubles you, Neve? You're 35 and still drifting. Is my tongue too sharp? What would you have me do, love? The war? Go to England. The wages are much better off I there. could never do that. My dad never let me step foot in the house again. It's right to honor him, Dermot. But is it right to throw away your life and mine? The farm, poor as it is, falls to Ned. Well, I'm supposed to get a bit of money from the farm when Ned marries. You're thinking as you've done these years, hoping that some miracle will happen and there'll be money enough to wed. But the years slip by. Ireland grows poorer, opportunities fewer. But there's money to be made across the water. God knows I don't want to see you gone. But when you come back, at least we could start a proper life. I want to be your food and drink, your fire and comfort. I've all that to give, Dermot. Take it, or set me free. The mists of Duncran are getting terrible salty. When the war's over, I'll go to America. A few years there, we'll be rich. And I'll be an old woman. Oh, we've talks of time. Oh, here in the warm of you, I can believe it. And here in the warm of you, I can think of nothing but the whole of our lives stretched out before us. When the trouble's done. For one, one purpose. For a united Ireland. I thought I said half seven. My father was fighting the troubles in 1920. Almost made me miss these troubles of 41. I've got something to tell you. Something that'll sort of convey to you the vastness of our undertaking. We're secretly allied with Germany. Oh, I know how a lot of you feel about the Nazis, and I agree. But remember this, we're only going to make use of Mr. Adolf Fuhrer Hitler as long as he suits our purpose. And then we'll ditch him so fast he won't know what hit him. Well, now, to get down to business. Some of you will be sent away on jobs for days at a time. You'll have to make your own excuses. 
You'll risk your life. You'll get caught. And if we are unable to save you, you'll get long prison sentences and even be executed. Well, you can leave now. Or take the oath. Do you have a hard day, Sergeant? That daily raid has stirred things up a bit. By the way, a new man has been assigned to Duncrana today. Does he look a good man, Sergeant? Oh, you're here, Sergeant. Well, he looks a little fuller in his uniform. Uh, good night, officer. Will you have a wee one? No, he's on duty as of the minute. I'm afraid you'll have to wait and standing him a drink. Oh, you look fine, just fine. Now you set yourself up in the barracks and any trouble, just ring me up. Here, sir. Well, after a game and a drink or two, I'll be at home having a nap. No, any trouble, just ring me up. After dairy, Sergeant, did nothing. I to... know, I know. The IRA are cutting their teeth again. Ah, a month from now or a week, perhaps. There could be trouble in Duncrana. I don't think it'll start tonight. The organization and training of this Duncrana group has gone well. The brigade is satisfied. But right now we have a problem. And it's this. Lack of weapons. Without weapons, we're no more than a thorn in England's side. Do you know the ordnance depot at Rathgiven? Well, if we could raid that and, and just hold it long enough to clear out the armory. We had a similar thought, but there'll be no gunfire. That place can be taken with a bold face and a steady eye. How many men from Duncrana do you want? Two. You'll go with me, Sean. Brigade has already decided on Sean and Dermot. I'm the commandant of this group. You've no right to... It's because of that I can't risk you. Organizers are hard to find. He's right, Don. Who told us together if something happened to you? All right. Sean, Dermot, Saturday week. We'll gather outside Rath Given. I've come to pick up some tentage equipment. Practically sure. Take six cases of Bren guns, pile them close to the door, and plenty of 303 ammunition. Soldiers of the Crown. Lock up. Let's be tidy.
instructed to read you this letter. We, the archbishops and bishops of Ireland, feel it our duty to warn all Catholics against wrong ideas in regard to the waging of war. No private citizen or group or organization of citizens has the right to wage war. Of all wars, a civil war between the people of one nation causes the greatest injury and must be avoided. We declare that it is a mortal sin for a Catholic to bear arms illegally or to fight against lawful authority. And all who so engage do so at the risk of excommunication. It's a pity a few more countries wouldn't take the advice of our bishops and be far better off. Now what do our bishops know of a man's desire to serve his country? And what do we know of the right to tear the country further apart? Well, I'm a bit closer to the need to take up arms than they, and Father Shee. He read the letter because it was his duty to do so, but you notice he gave no sermon on it. Maybe he hasn't his mind made up yet, either. No, what you have to make up your mind about is whether the boyos behind this particular spot of bother are regular patriots, or just another set of greedy politicians. Oh, they're not that. Oh, well, no, I, I wouldn't be too sure. Because there's a few of them there, and as far as I can see, well, they're just waiting to pick Britain's bones by the time Germany's done with her. Has Britain's been picking our bones for these hundreds of years? Still and all, would you say that was a very good reason for wanting us to join up with Nazi Germany? Next time you come friendly, Sergeant, leave that British uniform at home. Wouldn't it be just as easy for you to learn to get along with it? And dogs are dogs and cats are cats. And there's no mixing them up. The wireless is licensed, the dog is licensed, and there's not a drop of poutine in the house. Now, uh, what would you be looking for, Sergeant? Well, I just came about the blackout curtains. Oh? And there's a grand cup of tea. Where were you the time Rathgiffen Ordnance was raided? It was a Saturday. I, uh, I was right here, I... think. But I saw you getting off the Rathgiffen bus. Oh, yes, now I remember. I, uh, I went with Sean Riley to visit his aunt. Strange, the guard mentioned that among the five there were two tall ones. One fair and one dark. Did you know? Thanks for the cup of tea, Mrs. O'Neill. God bless. Good day, Sergeant. There was no shooting. Lucky that. It's not a good thing to have killed a human being. Did you tell me? I did. She was terrible upset. I I'm sorry, Dermot. I thought she'd be proud. You lied to the sergeant. You told me you were going to Roundtree. So I did. And then on to Rathgiven. The truth now. Were you on that raid? Answer me. He was on it. You hold your flame and tongue. Haven't you done enough? What difference does it make? Good lad. It's about time this generation did something for their country. You stay away from that gang. I don't want you dead or rotting in prison. It's not for that I bore and raised you. Leave the boy alone. Me life on you. Sacramento Marabili Passionis Tui Memoriam Reliquisti, Tribo et Quesimus, Eginus Corpus at Zagnus Tui Sacraments Deli Ad Venerari, Ut Redemptionis Tui Fructum in Obis Jugiter Sensiamus, Qui Vivus Ad Regnas in Secula Seculo.
And I've been waiting all these years to marry a murderer. I've killed no one. You know the history of the IRA as well as I do. You'll kill or be killed. I'm not waiting for that. But, Neve. That's it, Dermot. This hydroelectric plant here is the only source of electricity in the whole area. Down here by the river's edge, we have the huge generators. Up here on the cliff, you have the fuel tank. Blow this, and you've knocked out the whole plant. And we'll split into two groups. I lead the demolition party. Tim here, he'll lead the assault group. Now, you'll go over the barracks wall. When the whole thing goes up, you keep the troops bottled up until demolitions withdraw. Now, remember, Germany sits on the channel. The invasion of England. Tonight, she strikes. Soon, all Ireland will be ours. All right, cigarettes out. Leave a grenade and fire at the guardhouse. You slip back across, open the main gate. Stay outside, undercover, and wait for us. We'll be the last. We'll all come out, all right. That's how he came along.
up through the valleys to the free state border. Okay. How do you feel? Most uncomfortable. You feel fit for a bit of walk? I could walk the legs off you. Well, get on with it then. There's a shack about 200 yards across the bog. Come on. I... Oh, come on. If there was a girl to be danced to a hair, it could be nimble as a goat. That's no word of a lie. Ah, go on. Up with you now. Just imagine. The big and full man waiting for you in that wee warm shack. <laughs> I, I'd be there in a jump. Oh, Doris, Doris, easy, easy. It's wet. Must have opened itself again. Oh, you was always too ruddy in the face anyway, Sean. This will give you that pale, fell look the lassies like. Come on, over with you. Now. <coughs> oh, that's a proper marching song. Come on. Let's take a breather. Do you think a fella could die with a bullet in the leg? Oh, some of them might, perhaps. But not a real Irishman like yourself. What about all that? All that dirt and wet back in the ditch there? Maybe gangrene oh, can sit in or something. Wait your tongue, man. Come on now. Easy now. Easy now. Up with you. Easy. You know, Dermot, you're a fierce man. <laughs> you know, back there, you were like a devil, ready to spout bullets out of hell. And anger came over me, Sean. It wasn't a good thing. done that. Bit of a grenade or ricochet. It's just bleeding a little. Oh, it's terribly sore. Oh, it's not as bad as it looks. There should be a half pound lighter on that leg. I'm going to have a look around. Oh, be careful, huh? We can't travel far with your leg like that. Mind your fire on this bar. It may be a bit long. Hey, Dermot. Hey, bring back some food, will you? My stomach is in my throat. Right. Is your dad in? Would you tell him there's a man in the yard like to see him? It's a good line. I'm four blocks of Ah, yes, Birgit. What is it you want? I'm in trouble. In the house. I heard you talking Gaelic was like music. I'm sorry to be troubling you. Huh, there's no trouble at all. You sit down there and have some food. Thank you. Martha, good company. And we're needing something to eat. Well, if you're one of the boys who was out last night, well, you're safe here. I have a, a friend in the cow shed. He's hurt. Oh. Well, we'll see what we can do. Half the orange men are out on be special police duty with the regular us to constabulary. And if they see a doctor out, they'll come along with them. Wait a minute. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Well, that's all right. Jimmy will send someone to look after your friend. Martha, will you fix up some food for the other lad? I am. So, here's the wounded cow. Would you like a hand to grip? Oh, it's a, 
the fine, hard, Catholic paw you've got there. But that is not half so nice as Anne Colvain's. And how would you know? Surely the girl's got sense enough to stay outside a hand-holding distance with a barbarian Protestant like yourself. As soon as you can, have it looked at again. I can't do much except sterilize and dress it. As soon as we're across the border, Doctor. Well, now, what's the charge for this, Doctor? Well, if you were a cow, I could charge a pound. But if I charge you anything, I'd lose my veterinary license. A vet? <laughs> I always said you were a horse of a man, Sean. And the wrong end of the horse at that. Good holy suffering cows. A vet. Try getting up now. And put your weight in your leg. Come on up. Oh, no. You feel a sharp pain anywhere? No, I'm, I'm just shouting out of sheer joy. Go slow for the first hour or so tonight. If it starts to bleed, stop a while. Many thanks for your help, Doctor. Not at all. <laughs> You've got a nerve. A vet. Well, I could have brought along an MD, complete with an escort from the Royal Ulster Constabulary. I warn you. If any of the boys hear about this back home, ooh, I'll scuttle you. Rest, Sean. We've got a long night ahead of us. Uh, my soul, a vet. Are you ready? Hmm. Damn it. Look, honestly, now, am I, am I ever going to see home again? With that leg? I could say I'd, I could say I'd um, fell off a tractor or barbed wire or something. Oh, my gosh. I don't think you should go home again before the war is over. It's a long time. I'm going to miss it some. Yeah. Well, there's, there's British boys won't see home again ever. But you don't, you don't regret what you've done, do you? I wonder about it. She did what any true Irishman would have done. Ah, true Irishman. God, home, country, mother, father. Which are we to serve first? Well, first all. No, no, but really first. Well, Ireland, naturally. Yeah. And in so doing, we stand to lose all the rest. Oh, well, look, why? Why are you talking like this? Well, we talk about fighting to make Ireland whole, and I, I sometimes wonder if we're not helping to keep her torn apart. Come along, Mr. Chan. Darn it! Listen! Holmes! They've got the hounds out. There's no direction to a man. They're just coursing about. And if they pick up a scent? It could be the scent of a farmer or a bee special. I mean, if they pick up a track of me blood. Dormit, don't you think we should get off the road? It's a lot faster than going to the field, Sean. Maybe they'll be searching along it. If they come along, I expect we'll hear them. I think those hounds are getting closer. Maybe they've caught me blood smell. Ah, leave off it, man. The good Irishman's blood smells of whiskey anyway. Oh, don't joke about it! Oh. I'm sorry, Darwin. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How far have we gone? I don't know. Four or five miles, maybe? Oh, it's very sore. Oh, my leg is very sore. Could we rest? After a bit, Sean. Come along. I think we should go faster, Dormit. Those hounds, huh? There's a truck. Get the light on. I thought I saw someone. Well, there's no one here now. Not seeing anything, sir. Right, lads. Back in the truck. Get moving. Come on.
I think I've opened it again. Let me see. Oh. Let me have a look. Oh, no. Bandage is still tight. I just bruised it. Oh. It's so cold here, isn't it? It's cold. It's cold and it's so tight. Oh. Come here, Sean. You know. Let it rest a bit, Sean. Hey, Dorrit. Dorrit, Dorrit. Give us, give us an old song. An old song? Any old song. Anyone, anyone. Anyone. What do you fancy? Uh, anyone, I don't mind. Do you remember, remember that one you sang? At the old dance that night about... about the docks and the water and things like that. Remember? Oh. <sighs> If all the young maidens was ducks in the water. If all the young maidens was ducks in the water. Then all the young men would jump in and swim after. If the maidens was all trout and salmon so lively. If the maidens was all trout and salmon so lively. Then devil a one would eat meat. On a Friday, Faldilal, 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 Lal, Lal, Lal. Uncle Neve, he hasn't come home. Dermot, there's been a raid and he's not returned. He'll be all right, Bella. But how can he be? He's not been home these two days and nights. There's been shooting and killing and who knows the half of it. Oh, shush, Bella. Now can't. stop this kind of talk, Bella. He's Dermot O'Neill, a man, not a boy. And he knows how to take care of himself. And remember this, Bella. He's doing what he wants to do. And even if you would, you couldn't stop him. Dermot will always go the way of his choice. Come on, Bella. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not used to having such attractive company at the crack of dawn. Where's Dermot? Spella, she's half daft with worry. Well, if you can't even hang on to a man, how do you expect me to know where he is? I'll have an answer, McGuinness. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. We know the IRA is active in Duncrana. The IRA? And Dermot's one of them? Oh, it must be a great thing to be able to serve the cause. But you see, there's not much that I can do. You could sit by and send other men out to fight and die. Do you think I don't want to be out there with them? Do you think I want to see those fellas getting all the glory? I'll tell you something. I've volunteered for every assignment, dangerous or otherwise, that's come up. And where's Dermot? I don't know. Now. Bella, I wish to God I was out there with them. Don't turn away from me as if you were afraid of me or something. Look. Ever since I've seen you grow to womanhood, I've watched you given the eye to half the man in the countryside and you've never even looked in my direction once. I'll tell you something. I'm no shopkeeper now. I'm a commandant in the IRA. You've made marks on me. I'm sorry, Bella. But I love Ireland, too. What's the mark I leave on her? Put me down. Come on. Come on, put me down. I'm not a babe. Uh. What do you mean? Carrying me on your back like a babe, huh? Big hero stuff. I suppose you'll go back and tell the boys in the village I had to carry him through acres and acres of fields. You just look back at all the miles you didn't have to walk, you lazy beggar. I just felt sick for a minute. Sick? You fainted. I didn't faint. Fainted. is all wet. <laughs> the old poor backside. <laughs> oh, it's fine heroes we're producing. It was down by the glen side. I wet me old backside. <laughs> How long have they been following us like that? 
I can't tell. I think I lost all feeling for a time except walking. They're getting closer. I must have brought out a fresh pack. Come on. It's too late to outrun them. Take your belt off. Sounds like there's only two or three hounds. I've never hit an animal in my life, Tony. You've never shot at men either. <laughs> Man. They're not bloodhounds. Where are we? You're in the Irish Free State, man. Across the border, about a mile or so. You just put your belt back on again, man. You'll lose your trousers. It's all right, John. It's all over then. Over and done. Do you have any news? Any news uh, about the Germans? No, no. I've been listening to the wireless. The invasion didn't come off. Oh. <laughs> well, at least we shook the line up a bit. I... Look, Sean, I'm, uh, I'm leaving for the north today. You're going home? Alone? Hey. Would you, um... You're sure there's no danger now? Huh? By the look of an idiot. For the sake of our friendship, I'd best not answer that. I wish I was going home. Look, would you go in and tell the folks I'm okay, huh? I will. Hey, Jarvis. You stood by me. It was the only good thing to come out of the whole affair. Sick for home already. Up the rebels. Up the rebels. I tell you, them German fellas in the bios, they'll twist the British lion's tail. Tea. I could eat a bit. You have a good trip. Where have you been, Bella? If anybody asks, I've been to visit Aunt Josie in Donegal. The sergeant was asking after you. We said you'd left, but we didn't say where on Saturday morning. He didn't fool the sergeant, none. That's enough. Sit down, Bella. You wouldn't listen to me. I've spent a lot of my life praying for you to be well and happy. Now I'm going to pray for something else. I'd rather see you in jail for life than to think you killed anyone. mother's sake, why don't you leave the IRA? On her knaves. Bella swears that... You think it's not easy, Ned, leaving the IRA? Well, you could take yourself and knave off to England. With what? You can have everything I've got. It'll keep you for a wee while. She'd come back to you, you know. Why don't you leave? <laughs> a different reason every year. Too much lost, too little to try for. Ah, no, Dermot, it's too late for me. But with you now, it's different. You're both of you alive. Ah, well, I'll go out and sit by a tombstone and pretend it's my wife. Nice long walk you had. Long enough. There's one poor devil who won't be seen walking the roads again. If 
Found Corrigan's body at the foot of a wall. Will you leave off talking like that, Jimmy? Well, now I suppose you see what a great fellow you are, strutting around with a gun in your hand. I thought it was right, Jimmy. Oh. Listen, Devon, I'd leave it be if I were you. This way, the war is no use for it anymore. Yeah. Sean Riley tried to run the border by bringing him back here for trial. Said he was homesick. Thank you, Jimmy Hannafin. Nerve man. You taken to carrying a gun? I thought only on assignments. The police raided eight houses here the night the power plant was assaulted. Now with Sean being brought in, there'll be no let up. If they come here and try to take me. What's to be done for Sean? Done? But surely we're not going to let him stand trial. He'll be convicted, sure. He'll be prison for years. He knew all about the risks when he took the oath. We're talking about Sean Riley, man. Not just a hand that was raised in the taking of an oath, but a man. A friend who'd crawl on his belly through the hot coals of hell to help a comrade. We can't put the cause in danger all for the sake of one man. The cause be damned. No. They'll bring him in either by train or lorry. It should be easy to find out which. We'll take him away before it reaches Duncrana. We'll do nothing. Each man must make his own sacrifice. What kind of a cause is it that allows its comrades to rot behind prison bars? I have no authority. You're the authority of friendship and of decent loyalty. You're the leader here in Duncrana. He's one of us. You've been waiting to put on a trench coat and stick a gun in its pocket. You've been crying for a fight. Well, lead us then. I lead. And I say we do nothing. years imprisonment. I give him ten years. Damn it. 
Dermot, please. Look, it's past closing time. Now, the police have left me license. jail, I'll tear it down with my hands. Do you hear me, Sharks? Are you daft, man, or what? Do you want the whole town awake and the police after you? I, I have to tell on. him he's not alone. I, I won't. Sean! I won't let them keep him locked up. Shut them. So who's them? Didn't we all have a hand on it? I have to tell him, Jimmy. Sean! He's gone, I tell you. He's gone. They've taken him to Belfast jail. Listen, come on home now. Dermot, come on. That good man. Come on. Alice Dermot. Neve, I've got to talk to you. Neve, let me in. It's not Dermot O'Neill, it's Neve Donnelly. Dermot, go home, please. Ah, oh, no, you don't. I come to see you and see you, I will. Dermot, you're drunk. What are you trying to do? Disgrace me entirely. They give him ten years, Neve. Ten years, that's a long time out of a man's life. Neve, I need... No, Dermot. I won't be a pair of arms for you to hide in when you've stubbed your toe. You come to me a small boy with your tears for a hurt. And I'm to wipe them away, wash your face and comb your hair so that you can go off and play soldiers again. You're not my child. You're my love. It has all been said, Dermot. Go home. You've been a busy lad tonight. We've been hearing you all over the village. McGinnis would like to see you. Ah, good old Don. I knew he'd come around to my thinking. Come on, then. You put us all in danger with your whinging outside the jail. But Sean got ten years, man. If Sean's in quad, then we should all be there with him. If any man of us is free, then he deserves his freedom, too. I agree with you, Dermot. It's a terrible thing what they did to Sean, and we can do nothing about it. But they'll pay for it. I'm going to strike at the police in a few weeks. I'll teach them to tamper with one of mine. The police? But they're Irish. They're no part of the British Army. If they're Irishmen, they're traitors of their country. They deserve to die. We'll strike a thriller on barracks first. Now hold, McGuinness. There's a woman there and children. They're sleeping in the barracks until Rooney finds a house. I'll have no hand in the shooting of women and children. The Roonies will be upstairs. We won't be up there. Oh. And whilst the bullets are flying, will you be guaranteeing their safety? Have you ever been around, McGuinness, when the bullets start flying? Joe Rot! I'll be there this time. Well, I'll not. I didn't join to make war on innocence. You'll take orders. I'll lead and you'll follow. There have been arrests in Belfast, and until they can reorganize, I'm the law. Well, I'll have no part of your law, nor of you. I'm leaving the IRA. No man leaves the IRA. Is that so? Well, no man threatens an O'Neill. Not king, nor constabulary, nor IRA. And not you, nor any other man. And I'll tell you this. If you'll go through with this raid, I'm going to the police. I'll name no names, but I'll warn them. Informer. I'll court martial him. Bring him back. I'm not asking you, Malone. I'm telling you. Stand aside.
I'll tell you one thing, Dermot. We're going to hold you for insubordination before witnesses. Are you coming with us, or do we have to take you? Touch of a girl, Quinn. Informer! Uh, Informer! Oh, former! I've had enough, have you? Well, I'm telling you this. I'll be seeking you out one by one. Damn it. What happened to you? Boy, uh... I stepped in a bottle. I, uh, bashed my face. Another night and half the morning away from home. Do you want an egg? Aye, two of them. The playboy of the Western world wants nothing to eat this morning. Oh. Good fun last night, ain't it? Fun. You're sure now you won't have an egg, Ned? Yeah. Hey. Who's been? A couple of friends. Well, let's pay him a visit. Sociable life. No, no, Ned. I'm, uh, I'm leaving soon. It wouldn't do for you to get into it. Leaving? Dermot. Oh. Mm. When are you going to tell the mother and dad that you're leaving? Just minutes before I go. I wouldn't want them to see me like this. But I'm leaving tomorrow. They'd want to know what's the rush. You were in bad trouble over leaving the crowd. Will you stand easy for a minute and let me fasten that button? Well, I think I'll uh, change my mind about the eggs. I'll see you later. Go home, O'Neill. Are you calling off the raid? No. Well, if the fists of the lot of you couldn't stop me, do you think your words will? You'll have to pass Malone to get into that police station. I'm looking forward to it. He won't stop me either. The gun he carries will. Gun. Why don't you shoot me yourself, McGinnis? If you try to get into that building, you will be shot. Make no mistake about that. information for you, Sergeant. Good man. Sergeant, this ruffian, deliberately and with malice, throw a potato Later, to the... Later, Loudon. But, Sergeant... That will be all. Now, shut the door as you go out. The IRA is planning a raid on Trilleron Barracks Monday next. Go ahead. That's all. That isn't all. Who are the men on this raid? Well, I couldn't tell you that, sir. Another man will get the rest of the information out of you. I'm, uh, I'm shocking thick-headed, Sergeant. Yes, you are at that. Why do you tell me this much? Rooney at Trilleron has got his wife and youngsters living in the barracks. Do your friends know this? They do. You know, it's only a short while ago that he argued the district inspector out of lifting five men from Duncrana. It was just after the Apple Bridge raid. As it turned out, at least two, Corrigan and Sean Riley, had something to do with it. McGuinness, O'Neill, Malone, Corrigan and Sean Riley. If it wasn't for me, you'd be all up in Crumlin Road Jail right now, and Cardigan would be alive. Well, perhaps it would have been better for all of us. What will the IRA do to you now? I've left them anyway. And they kissed you goodbye with a cricket bat from the look of you last night. Aye. Well, uh, if you don't mind, Sergeant, I'll uh, leave by the back way, pending the cooling of their ardor. Well, I, 
I see you've parted company with your friends. I suppose uh, these are some of your decorations for services rendered. Well, they're, they're good scars anyway. They suit you. They planned a raid on a police barracks. There was a woman there and kids. I warned them I'd tell the police if they didn't call it off. They tried to change my mind. Oh, and they're scared you'd tell, they? Oh, I did tell. They know it. Oh. So, uh... So now you're for it. Now I'm for England. They don't want me head shot off. Listen, Dermot. I, I know the organization meets at Corrie's Barn, Bally's Barn, McGrafferty's Cattle Shed, McGuinness's Bicycle Shop. Now, where else? Well, sometimes they meet, uh, in the railway shack by Rock Cutting Bridge. That's all. I see. Well, uh, I suppose you'll be seeing Neve before you go. No, I ploughed under any hope of that for all time last night. Well, uh, keep in touch, won't you? I will that, Jimmy. And, uh, do you remember what I said to you? I said, uh, there's another way, didn't I? You see, we want you back here, Dermot. We want a few fellas to pull the country together instead of ripping it asunder. So, uh, you look after yourself, won't you? Not too, Jimmy. Ah, no. oh, it's a pity, you know, when you come to think of it. All the good, sensible arguments we could have had together. Especially, uh, especially now you've come to the age of reason. <laughs> I don't believe you'd do it. Still. Is it to be another Cloughton? You've been held for trial. For informing. I told him there'd be a raid on Trilleron. I mentioned no names. You can explain that to the judge. Oh? And might that be you? If it was me, you'd be dead back there in the street. Brigade will be sending over a couple of men. Around midnight. in proper uniform, even baby Quinn. Inside. Sometimes I think the IRA was invented by a manufacturer of trench coats to keep up sales. Aye. You better make your peace, O'Neill. You're booked straight to hell. Aye. Well, I don't mind hell. The thought of consorting with you through eternity is horrifying. You have the touch of death on you, McGinnis. Look in the mirror. I'll gag you. We're taking no chances, are we? There's uh, cigarettes in my pocket. Thanks. Thanks. Where you're going, you'll not be needing theirs. In two hours, I'll be relieved. Until then, I suggest you keep real quiet. I wonder where that cub's got to. He's well able to look after himself. I suppose not the devils. No, oh, more than likely. I have a great pair of sons, one of them drinking us out of hearth and home, and the other. It would be nice if he was with Neve. 
He's never missed a Sunday meal at home, except... I'll go into town and look for him after I've done the dishes. Never mind the dishes, Bella. Go on to the town. Take Dermot's coat to him. The rain's coming. It's a good few hours now. Hey, uh, Peg, get these to a couple of you, will you? Uh, no, I, I'll go out and find Dermot for you. I want to see him as soon as ever you do. Oh, is that so? Do you know? I'm going too. Oh, no. No, we're not going to turn this into a regular parade. In that case, it's for you to go, Neve. It is the sight of you will do him the good. Now, listen, brother, we may be gone a little while, and if we are, you run away home to your mother. Put a mind at ease. Just, uh, just tell her that uh, Dermot and me is having a bit of a chat. That's what we will be having too. Come on, here. Listen, Neil, you run down to Ryan's and Connolly's and see if you can find Ned in the other place. What is it, Jim? Well, Dermot's quit the IRA. The boys have got it into their head and he's an informer. Now, you run along and see if you can find Ned and get him to come down to Devlin's as soon oh. as you can. Who's there? Seamus Hanover. Come on, quick. Right. This IRA business, you know, it's making all the police contrary. Come on now, come on, come on. Hurry, what will you have now? Oh, well, usually we drink of Irish. Tell me, uh, is Ned in the bar? Ned O'Neill. Who's looking for him? Oh, who do you think? The King of Portugal, of course. Tell him I want to see him for a minute. Well, let's see if he's there. Very long way to hell. If you're going with her tonight, sit yourself right down. Ah, Jimmy, the man himself. The man himself. Me, boy, oh, now listen to me. We'll ah, sing an Irish song. Never mind about the Irish song. Your brother's in trouble, do you know that? I thought that was finished. If we don't find him tonight, we'll likely be praying for his soul in the morning. It's the boys they're after him. Where is he? Well, now, I know a good few places. Only I want a man along with me that's able for a bit of a scuffle. Do you understand? Thanks. Who's that now? Well, you're right. I surely. No, oh, never mind. It's for me. Come on. Who's there? It's Jimmy Hanson. Just, just a minute. No, let me look outside first. I've been raided twice already this month. Jimmy. They hurt my brother and they'll feel the hatred of the O'Neills and me. And me. He's not here. No, no, hasn't been either. The next place is the shed behind the Leeton house. What are you doing around here, Jimmy Hannafin? I want Dermot O'Neill. He stays here. You better go home, Jimmy. The committee won't like you mucking about. I warn you, come no closer. I'll shoot you, Ned. I'll shoot you. You weren't going to shoot Dermot, were you? They will, Ned, they will, because he informed on us. Uh, uh, leave him be, he's only a wee fella. There's a padlock, Jimmy. Oh, give us the key, give us that key. We've no time to waste. We don't need no key. Self-evident you need someone about to take care of you. Listen, will you quit rocking him around? Do you want to tear the arms off him? Well, look. Oh, this is getting to be a shock in town. A man can't stop for a bit of carton without some crashing busybodies interrupting him. Would you like me a cigarette, Ned? You. Well, I suppose you're not to blame. They change off every two hours. Uh, when's your man come? Half ten. Oh, that gives us a little time. Now, we better leave him in here. If you a piece of wire strong enough to bend in the hasp. Well, a couple of strands of nails here would hold this one. Besides, the window's here. Hey, Ned, how about this?
Come home with me, Neil, to say goodbye. Hey, you're not going home, boy. You're leaving Don Cranor tonight. Because as soon as they find you're gone, you're as good as done for if you're seen anywhere around here. Now, listen, do as I tell you. Go down the back gardens and walk along the railway line as far as the Blacksmith's Bridge. Then at the bridge, cut across the road and walk on into Rathgiven. Go way around the square there. Now, Red O'Connor will be leaving for Belfast before dawn with a lorry load of furniture. I'll ring him and get him to give you a ride the whole way. Now, do you need any money? Aye. I'll yeah. lie. Well, that do. Thanks, then. Well... Hey, Dermot. Dermot, uh, just one other thing. When you get to Belfast, I'll tell Red to stay away from the docks and the ghost you to leave. Well, Dermot. Well, brother. I'll be having one for the road for you before I'm home. I'll stand a wee way off till Neil's ready to leave. Uh, thanks, Jimmy. I'll see me on way home. Right you are, so. Goodbye now. God keep you. Same to you, Jimmy. Well, love? Not yet. Let me walk with you for a while, at least to the bridge. It's a long way for a little girl. I'm strong, Dermot, as well you know. spoke the truth and named no names, he's bound to inform a lot of us now. You know how many years you'll rot in prison for this? You'll shoot now, won't you? I will. Go someplace where you can watch the police station. You might go there. Malone. Aye. Go down to the railway station. You might try and get out in the 11 o'clock train to Applebridge. I'm going to his house. He's not afraid of us. He may go back there to get some things. Good. I'll go on into Rathgiven. I can get a bus back from there. Your ma will worry. Hannafin will know enough to tell her I'll not be home tonight. You wouldn't be conniving to burden me with your company all the way to Belfast. I. You got lost in your own town. You'd never find your way to Belfast. You'll pay for that bitter cheek one day, girl.
Look, Dermot. It is our beautiful Ireland we're leaving behind. Hush, love. The night has cried enough. <laughs>